How are you? Hi. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to be speaking with you. It's an honor to be in the whole Scream franchise with you. Whoa. Okay, wait. One, thank you. Two, I know. I was freaking out because the, the Scream cast and directors, we have this group chat and we all still talk to each other. So I told them, I was like, guys, I'm talking with Drew. Should I just spoil the whole film? One of the directors, Matt, told me, oh, yeah, I could send you the whole cut right now. She could put it on your show. Uh, well, no, you have no idea, like, how excited I am to be speaking with you, how much we praise your film. I remember on Halloween, even, we um, went on our set. We set up a projector and we got popcorn and watched the original. Like, I cannot tell you how many times I have seen your opening scene. I am so honored to be a part of this franchise with you. And by the way, I only made it this far in the book last night, but I just, I, I can't tell you. It's the whole thing is circled and annotated page after page after page. It's so beautiful. Um, Thank you. What inspired you to write this book? Just growing up in this day and age where social media can be so harmful and so toxic to young people's mental health or even, or even older people. I think it's, it's really important to know that um, people that you see on the screen or, or, or people that, you know, you may support go through the same things that you do. And we all kind of struggle with self-esteem or self-love and it's a tough journey to get there. And I think that with this book, I really just wanted to reach out to people who may also be struggling or people who just wanted to get to know myself a little bit better. And that's why there's so many intimate stories or embarrassing stories or uh, mistakes that I've made that people may or may not learn from. You have the wisdom of someone who's lived an entire life cycle and you know, where do you think you learned, for example, like when, you know, you love someone, maybe don't keep the mementos. Can you speak to that? I love that. I know for me personally, I live in the past a lot. And I think that sometimes that kind of stops or halts my growth as a person because I'm so stuck at what happened in the past or things that I'm embarrassed of or mistakes that I've made that um, I don't appreciate the present time that I'm in or I'm, I am so stuck on that that I just can't move forward. I mean, mementos tend to be memories of the good times and never the bad times. So if you're only holding on to these amazing pieces or pieces that made you smile or when you think about this person or friend or whoever it may be, I think it um, is just kind of holding you back in a sense. And I know for me, I'm trying to live a bit of a, a more minimalist lifestyle. So I try to keep things as plain, as simple as I possibly can be, especially with how crowded my brain can be sometimes. And again, those mementos, they just kind of crowd your thoughts and um, kind of fog your memory in a sense, I think. You also talk about the difference between love and infatuation. Will you speak to that? Yeah, yeah. Um, Again, social media, it's so easy for people to betray this perfect, clean, beautiful lifestyle that I, I, I really think that social media, people just post and appear how, how they want to be rather than they truly are. People who haven't experienced love before, this infatuation, this crush that they start to develop, it could feel like true love. And when they meet that person or start to interact that interact with that person and realize that they're not as perfect as they their mind had made them out to be, I think you could be disappointed and it's unfair to that other person to be disappointed because of the expectations that you created in your own head. Um, I just, I, I don't think that we should take social media so seriously and so deeply and um, base people's or, or create these ideas about somebody who um, truly is just trying to appear cool or, you know, be well-liked or popular or whatever it may be, whatever they're trying to achieve on Instagram. You have so much to offer you are such a gift, Jenna Ortega. Everybody, it's all love. Reflections for your heart and soul is available right now. Jenna Ortega, it is such a pleasure to get to know you. And please, I would love to see you again. Thank you. It's an honor.